Joined now by new Cape Breton Eagles Assistant General Manager of Business Operations and Brand Ambassador Joey Haddad. Before Joey had this role, he was a star player with the Eagles. Joey, just how do you enjoy being back working for the Eagles? It's been very enjoyable, Pat. It's also new and things have been moving so fast. Some days I wake up and I'm like, holy smoke, this is reality. But I mean that in a good way. It's been exciting. It's been a nice change of pace. It kind of brings me back in the action of the game behind the scenes and the operations and the production of the show, we'll call it. But I haven't been a player for so long. Well, it's basically been my life. It's always a trick to try and fill that void when you finish playing. I feel like I've been really lucky to kind of fall back into a role where I'm close enough to the game. I get that kind of action, that fast pace, that competitiveness with a little more stability, not to call myself an old guy or anything, but as far as being an athlete from when you're 16 to say 30 and then getting to move into a more stable role with a little less travel and more of a reasonable schedule. It's been really refreshing. Not uncommon if I have to go into the rink in the evening for whatever reason, even on non-game day, Joey's still there. What does the average day entail for Joey Haddon in this position? It's no secret that the organization has had a little bit of a changeover in the last few years. And then one thing we really wanted to kind of narrow down was getting a good group together with hockey ops. That's with business ops, employees that are kind of bought in and want to make working for this organization their foreseeable future. And that allows us to kind of gain some stability, build some processes that help the structure of the business, ultimately drives performance through my onboarding since say mid-July. It's been very fast paced. There's been a lot of long hours where I could start at 8 a.m. and finish well past 8 p.m. just depending on what needs to get done or what event we're planning for or for example getting the rink ready for home opener, craft hockey bill, and then getting it ready again and things like that. It's been refreshing in the way that no day is the same. I think coming from a hockey player schedule, up in the morning training, kind of off around noon, lunchtime, this has been a long day and then maybe come in at noon on Monday. Or it still kind of fits what I'm used to. It's not like I've been grinding it in an office job for the last 20 years. All of this is new. So if I'm in the office and I'm working and it's after hours and I'm getting something done, something productive, it's fresh and new for me. I have that luxury of, of enjoying, I guess, the grind right now. We talk about being a brand ambassador. Obviously, you're a great fit for that because you were somebody who was a key player with the Eagles and is from Cape Breton. But the business side of the job as well, that's what you took in school. You have an MBA and you have some business experience before coming to the Eagles as well. Tell us a little bit about the business endeavors you had before taking on this position. When I was a young guy, say back when I played with the Eagles and whatnot, it was kind of an easy, simple side of landscaping and getting some clients and cutting some grass all summer. And then as you grow older, even as an athlete, you realize the importance of reputation and brand. Each individual athlete is the head of their own business enterprise. And, and that's the way I kind of saw it. As you're growing up and you're being polite, you're being cordial, you're being respectful, you're adding to your brand. And through that, your reputation builds. And then you realize the benefits you can gain off of having a good reputation and a valuable brand. Moving away from hockey, I did my MBA and learned a little bit more of the strategies and how to kind of orchestrate business and, and operations and processes. When I did finish playing hockey, I actually opened a home inspections business, something I really had no experience in whatsoever. But just did the business research, the background, and kind of, you know, it was a smaller investment. And as a business model, it really worked. So I jumped into that coming out of the pandemic. And obviously, the market around Cape Breton really took off. It was just good timing for me. And that was successful. And I learned a little bit more of the responsibilities and just that behind the scenes to operate a business. Did some property management. So a little bit of that. Both jobs really were kind of customer service respecting my brand and pushing that and making sure everybody I came in contact and did business with was happy and, and spoke favorably of me and my company. Moving into a role with the Eagles, taking care of business, I guess, but then the brand ambassador role is kind of something that comes naturally for me, I guess. Growing up in Sydney around the block from Center 200, the Nest, I was a huge fan. And then I actually had to play against my favorite team <laughs> as I was drafted to the PEI Rocket. Fortunately, I got to come back and, and play for my team, which was 
was a dream come true. It was such a great feeling to be Eagles alumni. Once an Eagle, always an Eagle. Brand ambassador for me to talk about the team, the city, the arena, our municipality. I'm just very passionate about that stuff because I do care about my friends, my family, my neighbors, my fellow citizens. And I really do believe that having Center 200 rocking and rolling as an entertainment hub with the main tenant being the Cape Breton Eagles and 34 games a year and and all the events and spinoffs that could come with that. That's what I really want for this municipality and especially for our organization to succeed and continue to grow. Even just talking with you and, and speaking like this comes straight from the heart. And I know I have a lot of support because I know a lot of people on Cape Breton Island, the people who are involved with the Eagles feel that same way. Coming off the, the pandemic years, and it really changed up things worldwide. As we adapt in this new landscape, we have to transition and we almost have to continue to fight and continue to build our brand and kind of plead our case and operate better and better all the time, year after year. As far as the business role and the brand ambassador position, it's kind of tied into one. It's something that I enjoy and am passionate about. Well, I think that definitely comes across, and I think the fans enjoy hearing that and enjoy seeing you around the rink again. Thanks for telling us all about it, Joey. Best of luck the rest of the season. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks, Pat. That's Joey Haddad, Assistant General Manager of Business Operations and Brand Ambassador, joining us at the intermission. You're listening to Celtic Kubota, Cape Breton Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.